What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Virgo sun sign friends. If you were born between the dates of August 23rd and September 22nd then you are a Virgo sun sign and this video is for you. Halloween and Samhain and just October are here almost. We're, we're midway through October and it's time to get into the spirit of things if we haven't already and that's what we're going to do today. Now, this video idea was brought to us by Atypical Tarot. He has a great channel on YouTube where he mixes metaphysics with science. It's super interesting, super informative. I hope you guys will all check out his channel. I'll put a link to the description box below. So thank you for the idea. His idea was to use all these darker decks that I have uh, to really get into the spirit of the season. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, this reading is going to be talking about blockages. We all have blockages. And these blockages stop us from advancing on our path, or at least slow us down. And the idea here is to pinpoint those blockages and see if we can't do something to remove them. Uh, this reading is supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to be upsetting. It's supposed to be depressing, even. Uh, that's how I felt when I did mine. But uh, I, I quickly realized that... It's a good thing. It teaches us what we need to move away from. Pinpointing our problems, our issues, our, you know, our dark side helps us to move towards the light. So that's what this spread is designed to do. We're going to be using three different tarot decks. We've got the Dark Grimoire Tarot, we've got the Omega Land Tarot, and we've got the Mortem Oraculum. So these are three kind of darker decks, and uh, we're going to see what they have to tell us. So let's start with this card here uh, which represents blockages that virgo sun signs may have of the mind mental blockages we've got the king of pentacles the feeling i'm getting almost immediately here is that there may be a focus or too much attention being placed on the physical realm i think a lot of your mental uh, blockages are surrounding money and abundance I think that you're, many of you, uh, this may not resonate with all, but many of you are very focused on the physical and, and improving your physical life. And that's where you, you spend a lot of your mental energy. But I think it's a blockage because it's kind of imbalanced. Uh, when I think of what the ego mind should be doing, it should be solving problems in the now moments. But if you're constantly focused on acquiring, that can get obsessive, that can get distracting i mean you're, you're neglecting a, a whole aspect of you when you just obsess over you know and not just money just anything in the physical world this could be food this could be clothes this could be cars this could be houses this could be anything that you can physically touch and and maybe thinking about that too much is causing a blockage perhaps it's stopping you from thinking about what your soul wants if you're just thinking about you know how i can acquire more stuff to bring safety and security and and whatever you're you're you think is going to come of it uh, you're just kind of neglecting another side of you so i think a mental blockage uh, that needs to be removed is is the focus on the physical world and you know and removing that blockage is as easy as spending more time thinking about the, the non-physical realms about your emotions about your intuition and that you know thinking about your emotions and your intuition leads to bigger questions like you know what is beyond the physical and then we get into some cool things okay so let's move on over to this card which represents blockages in the body blockages in the physical realm aha we got the four of swords When I say the body, I'm just talking about the physical world, not necessarily your body. But the feeling I'm getting from this card is that I think there's too much time spent thinking and not enough time spent doing. I think if you're in your head too much, it's harder to take actions. You're, you'll psych yourself out. You know, I, I need to start this new project, but, you know, it's going to be difficult. There's going to be setbacks. There's going to be obstacles. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do next month about it. And that's just the mind infiltrating. That's the mind stopping you from progress. And I think what this card is telling us is that one of your blockages in this physical world is 
your mind playing up too much and stopping you from taking action, stopping you from doing things. Worry, doubt, fear being instilled into you to the point where you don't want to take action or you hesitate to take action or you, or you uh, take limited action rather than going full bore. So uh, I think uh, we need to fix the mind here. The mind is, is overactive is the feeling I'm getting from these two first cards here is the mind is really working overtime, doing things it's not supposed to be doing. Like I said, the mind is supposed to be solving problems in the now and that's it. Where did I put my keys? That is what the ego mind should be focused on. Not, you know, where are my keys going to be next month? <laughs> right? where, you know, what problems am I going to see next month? That's not what the mind should be doing. That's, that's outside of the mind's uh, realm of expertise. Your mind should be saying, I'm hungry. Where's the food coming from? That's the, that's the things that your mind should be focused on. And once you can get your mind out of giving you ex reasons to, to worry, then you're going to start saying, oh, there's nothing to worry about. Let's go and do this. So the mind is uh, seeming to be a little bit uh, self-sabotaging here, Virgo friends. So uh, I think what we need so far, having seen just the first two cards, I think we need to reevaluate and, and try to try to um, program, reprogram the mind to have a more limited role in, in your life. All right, let's go on to this card, which represents blockages of the soul. This is when things get real because, not only because this was painted in human blood, but because we're also talking about some big things here. And uh, we have the intuition card with a very rabid looking wolf. I think uh, Virgo friends, your blockage is a failure to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is there, always, screaming at you. And in order to hear it, you have to tune into it. You have to know that it's there, you have to realize its value, and you have to listen to it. But if you're so focused on you know, money, if you're focused on worry, uh, the intuition is going to be blocked. It's going to be, you're not going to be able to even perceive it. So I think your blockage to your soul is your soul is screaming for you. Go this way. Go down this path. This is the best way for you. But you can't hear it because you're so worried. You're so in your head. You're not listening to your, your intuition, your, your instincts, your, your guts, your, your higher self, your guides, your angels. And you're not listening to any of that because, well, I'm not saying you specifically, but I'm just saying that, that that's the blockage uh, because... I'm making this sound like you're a horrible person. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to say. We all have blockages, right? And I think uh, the blockage is that your soul is trying to tell you one thing, and I think you're having trouble hearing it. Uh, and and this, again, it's not all of you. Some of you are very keyed into your intuition, okay? But... Uh, as a, as a whole, I think uh, you can listen to your intuition more. I think that's a better way to say it. I think we all, if you're listening to us, you probably know of your intuition. You probably can hear your intuition to some degree, but we can all stand to hear it in a louder way. And uh, it's not about um, your intuition getting louder. It's about you getting quieter. That's how, that's how you hear. You get quiet. You silence the mind. You remove fear. You remove doubt. You remove worry. And you just get calm. And that's the way to hear your intuition. That's the way to hear your soul. And your soul is going to tell you exactly which direction you need to go. It's probably not in this direction. It's probably not in this direction, right? So um, it's very important that we, we calm the mind and uh, we, we still the heart and we just listen to what's beyond that. So now that we've seen all these cards, Virgo friends, I think... Uh, I think we need to get out of the mind a little bit more. I think we need to more focus on the heart. I think we need to more focus on the intuition. And uh, those two things are going to be very valuable to you. Um, you need to remove worry and fear. There's nothing to worry and fear. You have to realize that those are constructs of your ego mind. They have created those things. They're not real. The only thing that's real is your intuition. That's real. And that's the, your real guidance. So uh, I think uh, uh, we have to make more attempts to listen to that. Does that make sense? Does that really make any sense? Let me know in the comment section. I never know. <laughs> I never know. So I really do appreciate your comments. Uh, you know, as a tarot reader, you just never know how your readings are going to land. And, uh, you know, if it didn't make sense, let me know too. Well, especially if it didn't make sense. I, I, I really need to know... 
I don't need to know, but I would like to know uh, how this reading affected you. So if you could, please do all the YouTube stuff, the liking, the sharing, especially the commenting. I really do appreciate that. Uh, it helps me understand how to get better, and uh, so I appreciate it. Um, and that's the readings. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember, this is a general reading. Not everything's meant to apply to everyone. If you want a specific reading where I tap into your energy, you can head on over to my website, lightofriga.com. The link is in the description box below. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that voice. I just felt like it. Uh, and that's going to be it. I want to wish you a happy Halloween, happy Samhain, happy October to all my Virgo friends. I want to thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.